on to section 1.7 again, or 5.7 depending on if you're looking at volume 1 or volume 2, um, since there is an overlap in chapters there. These are integrals resulting in inverse trigonometric functions. All right, so effectively there are three types of inverse trigonometric functions that we're going to really worry about. Okay, there is the inverse sine, inverse sine, inverse tangent, and inverse secant. All right, now so try to be familiar with a little bit familiar with what these look like. We have a a number a squared minus u squared inside of a radical for this one. All right, so. So this, is gonna, this will look something like 3 squared, or 9, minus uh, x squared inside a radical. The tangent will be something squared, so it could be something like 9 plus, uh, eh, let's change that. It could be something like 3, 9 plus um, 4x squared, that's really a 2 squared, in the denominator. These are all in the denominator. And the last one, we're going to have something on the outside if we have a secant. Okay. We're not going to really do much with those. But try to be familiar a little bit with what these look like as we go. Because mainly what we're going to do is identify what the A and the U are, and then use these formulas. Most of what we're going to be doing is application. So evaluate the definite integral, the integral from 0 to 1, of dx over 1 minus x squared. Right. Well, that definitely looks like inverse sine. Okay. In this case, the a is 1, it's 1 squared, and the u is just x. All right, so the answer to this is going to be the integral. If you notice, u and x are actually the same, so the variable of integration is, is really not changing. We're changing it in letter, but not in, in work. Okay, so this is going to stay at the limits of 0 and 1. Um, and actually, we don't. We can just go straight to the evaluation here. That is going to be arc sine of u over a, x over one, evaluated from zero to one. So evaluating that, we plug in zero, or we plug in one. That is going to be uh, pi over two. All right, arc sine of one, pi over two minus arc sine of 0, which is 0. So our answer is pi over 2. Number 15. This looks like it is in the form of also inverse sine. So in this case, our a is 1, and our u is 4x squared. Now, back here, Okay, back here with this, this problem here, we did not have to worry about um, our chain rule, okay, because u and x, we just switched the variable, okay. Now here, we are going to go ahead and switch these. du is going to be 8x dx. All right. Uh, I made a mistake there. Go back. This is actually 4x which makes this only 8, makes it 4. Okay, so this is 4 dx, which makes dx, or 1 fourth du equal dx. So we're going to replace this. I'm going to rewrite the integral. All right, so it is going to be 1 fourth du over the square root of, in this case, and remember, a is just 1, okay, so it is 1 squared minus 4x squared. All right, so the integral of this is 1 fourth sine inverse of u over a, so 4x over 1 plus c. Okay, we'll try that again. Number 16, find the antiderivative of this function right here. All right, so first a is 2, and u, what's being squared there, is the 9x squared, so 3x, which makes du 
3 dx or 1 third du equal to dx. So I'm going to rewrite this as 1 third du all right, over the square root of 2 squared minus 3x squared which based on our formula here is going to be 1 third arc sine of u 3x over a which is 2 plus c Identify what A is, identify what U is. If it's not just X, okay, then if U is not just X, then we've got to worry about our chain rule. All right, so this one we have got, let's see, A is 3, U is X. So really, we don't have to do the whole chain rule idea. Okay, we can just say this looks like dx over square root of 3 squared minus x squared. And since that's in the form of arc sine, u over a plus c. Okay. On to number 18. Evaluate the definite integral, the integral from 0 to the square root of 3 over 2, of du over 1 minus u squared. All right, now, this is still in that form for arc sine. All right, make sure of that it is. All right, so we can go ahead and say a is 1, u is, well, u is already u. We don't even need to do, think about that. Okay, so this is going to be arc sine of u over a evaluated on this one from 0 to the square root of 3 over 2. So that will be the arc sine of square root of 3 over 2 minus the arc sine of 0. Right, the arc sine of square root of 3 over 2 is pi over 3. Arc sine of 0 is 0. So this definite integral is pi over 3. Okay, number 19. Find the antiderivative of 1 plus 4x squared. Well, that would mean a is 1, u is 2x, which makes du 2dx, or 1 half du equals dx. So let's rewrite this and then see what form it looks like. We have 1 over 1 plus, so that's going to be a squared plus u squared dx, or du, actually. Well, that looks like it's in the form of arctangent. Alright, that is arctangent. So the integral of this is, and this is from our formula, 1 over a arctan fix that arctan of u over a plus c. Well, since a is 1, that's just 1, arctan of 2x plus c. Once you recognize what form it looks like it's in, it's pretty much downhill. All right. So number 20, we've got the integral of dx over 25 plus 4x squared. There's no square root, so it's definitely arctangent. Okay, based on our options here. So this is a equals 5, u equals 
2x, which makes du 2dx, which then makes 1 half du equal to dx. So when we replace this, we've got du, we have 1 half. Hold on a second. Missed something on 19, actually. 1 half du, there should have been a 1 half here, which would carry down to 1 half inverse tan 2x plus c. All right, so here we bring it. We already brought down the 1 half du. And that is a squared plus u squared, which definitely looks like the arctan. So we carry down our 1 half, and then it's times 1 over a. a is 5. I'll go ahead and write that over here. Uh, let's see. Integral of 1 over a squared plus u squared. Let's say du equals arctan. That's 1 over a. Arctan of u over a plus c. So, one, so we have our 1 half we brought down. Then we have the 1 over a, which is 5. Right. times arc tangent of u, 2x over a, which is 5, plus c. So this means we have 1 tenth, okay, 1 tenth inverse tan of 2 fifths x plus c. Number 21, a is 3, u is x. We don't actually need to perform a u substitution here. Um, but this one is already in the form. I'll go ahead and write it. dx, and it's a squared plus u squared, which means this is arctangent. So arctangent, and it's 1 over a, so we'll have a 1 third u over a, so th x over 3 plus c. Number 22. a equals 4, u equals x. Since u is x, we don't really need to make a u substitution, so this is dx over a squared plus u squared. Uh, I better change that to du. Oh, I did that over here too. Um, let's leave that as x squared. And we'll leave that as x squared. Now I'll make that du. Just to change it up. Okay, so then this is arctangent of u over a. Well, C. Now we also have 1 over A, so there should be a 1 fourth factor there. Alright, number 23. Evaluate from the square root of 3 over 3 to the square root of 3 of dx 1 plus x squared. Okay. First thing we need to probably do here is determine, like we keep doing, what are a and u, and in this case, a is 1 and u is x. So du equals dx. I'll go ahead and convert this. And that'll be du over a squared plus u squared. Now my variables here, it's, ch it's changing from x to u. So I'm going to go from square root of 3, upper limit, square root of 3 over 3. Convert that. Well, in this case, x equals u, u equals x. So our variables, our limits, are not going to change. So this will be, this one is in the form of arctan. Arctan of u over a. So we can just leave that as x. Arctan of x 
Well, see, now we're going to have a factor of 1 over a. Well, a is just 1, so we just leave that as 1. Now, we do have these limits here that we'll evaluate on. So we're going to evaluate this from the square root of 3 over 3 to the square root of 3. All right. So the arctangent of square root is pi over 6. No, pi over 3. Pi over 3 it is. And we do the arctan of square root of 3 over 3. Square root 3 divided by 3. That works. That is, that is pi over 6. Which will result in pi over 6. Last one I have in these notes. Evaluate from 0 to 2 dx over 4 plus x squared. So a equals 2, 2 squared there. u equals x, so du equals dx. Our limits of integration are going to stay the same because u is x. We're not changing anything there. Over a squared plus u squared. This is arctan. Okay, now, because a is 2, we're going to have a factor of 1 half. And we're also going to say u divided by a, which is 2. Now, we are going to evaluate this from 0 to 2. So plugging a 0, a 2 in there, that's going to be 0.5 arctan of 1. All right, which is pi over 8. Plugging 0 in there, 0.5 arctan of 0, 0. So pi over 8 is our answer there. All right, that brings this video to an end. So keep working on these trigonometric ones. Identify what form they're in. That's the big thing. Figure out what A and U are. If you can write it in whichever one of those three forms, then that tells you what you need to do from there.